Hello there, Wargaming Enthusiasts, and welcome back to Blackguards. I'm back for more. In fact, I liked this game quite a lot yesterday. As a matter of fact, it's strangely addictive. Um, and I'm playing it despite uh, I have a raspy throat today. And I actually end up being sick tomorrow. Well, that's regardless of Blackguards, though. And as a matter of fact, I'm continuing to record it despite the many, many problems I had with recordings yesterday, including weird frame rates and the lack of mouse, which is going to unfortunately continue because I haven't figured out any way whatsoever to get the mouse on screen, but, um, and I'm sorry for that. If you're going to stick around regardless, then um, I'll try to make up for it with some amusing banter, maybe. Uh, I'll try to think of some. But... Uh, in the meantime, we should probably heal up and head out. What is it that we are doing, actually? We are going to Morbal, but not on the road. Um, and we can also go look for Sulag's greatest treasure, which I don't think we know where that is. Uh, right, yeah. We never heard of this princedom, but maybe this bone is at least a lucky charm. Well, if we don't know where it is, then it's going to be hard looking for it. Uh, and we've got Pilgrim's Paths, and that's it. We haven't got any side quests except the main quest line, and uh, we certainly need yes to heal up. We need a heal. Looks like it. Thank you. The gods be with you. Luckily, healers are cheap. Um, inns are expensive, though. Um, is there anything we want to sell particularly, or did I do that last time? Well, looks like we have dealt with most of the things. Uh, this book of major abjurations is probably a good thing to figure out how to use it, because I seem to have forgotten. Do we just... Uh, I think. Did anything happen? Did you learn something, sir? Did you learn a spell? Uh, yes, you did. Okay, good job. Okay. So we learned a new spell. We can uh, go about adding some more experience to various things, but I don't really want to do that just yet. Uh, mostly because I just have no good ideas how to do that. Um, so let's just continue and find a fight. Find a fight that we can deal with. Down there is where we want to go. There's a tramp on the road. Are you headed to Chaliba? Perhaps you could do me a favor. I doubt it. Nothing big. Just give my regards to my rotten brother. He's easy to find. The richest merchant in Chaliba, married to the most beautiful woman in town. Does he sell flying carpets too? Then we'll have the makings of a fairy tale. Um, well... Why don't you go and greet your brother yourself? Yeah. Chaliba is far from here, and my shoes are full of holes. Well, well that's a lousy excuse. And what's in it for us? Flying carpet, perhaps? Oh, good answer. Flying carpet. Um, like, we're not messengers, but on the other hand, it's a quest, so right. whatever. What's his name? Tell Sereno his brother Anaris says hello. That definitely sounds like a mafia thing. Ah, let's continue on our journey to Chaliba. So, what's your day been like? My day has been interesting. I was supposed to fail some students today. I didn't fail a single one. The bastards actually presented good work. Oh well, better luck next time for me. Uh, people are swimming in leathery swimsuits. Well, it doesn't look comfortable at all. Um, and we have an innkeeper, we have a beggar, and we have a Sarino. Sarino sounds like a name. Thanks with you. Hello. How can I help you? In Angrosh's name, this biggin looks exactly like the other biggin. Hmm. What, what do, do you, you have? have a leather coat. 
bear trap. Nothing particularly interesting. Bandages, provisions. Yeah, some leather boots and stuff. But we're fine for uh, armor just now, I think. And feathered hats. The gods be with. Leave you alone for now. Why so somber? Everyone thinks the world is going to come end. I don't believe it. It's always the same. The gods are angry. I don't believe it. They say the swamps are haunted. I don't believe it. Can you spare a coin? My ferret's sick. Well, your ferret is sick. Here you My go. My ferret will be so grateful. Indeed. I'll tell you something else. I once had a pig. His name was Frankel. And if you come across Frankel, don't take him to the cemetery. He really likes to dig. You know. Mm. <laughs> Please. Let's leave. So you're a grave digger too as well. Uh, well, just like us. Except with the pig. And where's this ferret? Can we see the ferret? Come on. I am interested in ferrets, intrinsically. There's an innkeeper. Be, signorina? Uh, we are actually an entire party, not just me, so... Goodbye. Anyway, gold piece for rest. I'll be fine. Uh, Thanks. Right, cause... What do you have to... Provisions are cheaper, right? I don't have any. Well, they are on our side. Uh, the gods be with you. Let's not scare them off just now, because I really think that's a mafia thing. Uh, can you spare? Come on. We already spared the coin. Thank you. All right, side quests galore. Something about the cemetery. Something about a uh, pig. Although, we don't seem to have any options with regards to that, that's unfortunate. We can't really go anywhere where we don't have a dot, so... Uh... Let us continue on, um, well... I'm thinking, do I want to tell the brother... well... I'm going to tell him eventually, I just want to see what happens. So I'll save here and uh, we'll get back to Chaliba and we're going to talk to the brother and see what happens and if we don't like the results immediately, then well, who cares. I'm going to reload. Thanks, with... You're Sereno, I presume? Yes, why do you ask? Your brother Onaris sends his regards. Sereno. How? What's wrong? The big one's getting mighty pale. Your being here is a death threat. My yeah. evil twin brother Onaris wants to kill me. See Rano in reverse. Oniras. Sound seems like uh like I have the feeling that this sh well it's an anagram but I thought it might have been reversed but it's not very slightly wrong. Oh well. And it would have been fine if it were Cyrano. That would have been, that would have been much better. Anyway, um, oh, well, kill you. Well, what do you have to offer then? Why would your brother want you dead? He's jealous of my successful business and my wife. I was lucky. He wasn't. That's why he hates me. He was banished from the principality because he wanted to kill me and take Celia away. Now it's him or me. A fine example of brotherly love. Indeed. Uh, well, or maybe is it the case that you are the evil brother and he was the good brother? Huh? Huh? The game's gonna make us choose, doesn't it? Can we help you in any way? Perhaps. I'd like to suggest a deal. I saw your wanted posters. You take care of my brother and I... Well, I won't tell anyone that you've been here. We recommend that you don't do that anyway. Yeah, we can friend. kill people as well. And a book. A magic book. A rare magic book. How I got rare. the book from someone who owed me money. Wouldn't know what to do with it myself, but it may be of value to you. Now you've got my attention. Uh, 
You want us to do away with your brother? Your own brother? Shocking, I know. My own twin. But Celia isn't safe as long as he lives. Sometimes, sometimes desperate times call for desperate measures, right? Does Celia have an evil twin sister called Aliak? Aliak? Whatever. Sometimes! No, uh, we'll take care of it. Yeah, let's we'll do it. We'll take care of it. Please don't let my brother suffer. He wears a pendant that he never removes. Bring it to me as proof of his death. Um, the sure. Gods be with you. This is suspicious. I think he might have tried to kill his brother and his brother ran away and now he wants us to just let him know, sort of as a gloating thing, that uh, he ran away and he didn't manage to kill him and he goes like, oh no, he's still alive, we should, you should take care of him for me because those other bastards I hired didn't manage to do it completely. Um, hmm, yeah, anyway, let's go. It's not like we care, we are hired, well, we're not technically, I mean, we were convicted murderers, but we're not actually murderers. Well, that's not true, we are actually, we killed plenty of people. Did you give him my regards? Let me guess, he wants me to die again. Again? It's a coin with two heads, I am he, and he is I. Indeed. You are. I am Sereno. My brother is Anaris. We're twins. He got jealous. He envied my prosperous business oh. and my wife, so he took them. Perhaps you'd like to see justice done. Let me guess. You want us to kill him. And what's in it for us? <laughs> I'm nothing but a beggar now, I'm afraid. Hmm. But if we kill him, then you can go back, take away his wife and uh, his business, more importantly, and take his book and give the book to us. Huh? Huh? That, that sound good? Uh, whatever. How did your brother manage to do all that? I was ambushed by my brother's hired thugs. They didn't kill me, obviously. But they took my ring, my wedding ring, which my brother is now wearing on his finger. And my wife didn't recognize him. That's the most painful part. Yeah, proof. How do we know who's telling the truth? You want proof? I don't have any. But if you want to be sure, ask the robbers who ambushed me what their orders were. They dwell in the woods not far from here. Ah! We should first find out who's telling the truth. Of course. On the other hand, that book Sereno promised us sounds interesting. Onaris. Sereno is his brother. Yes. I say let's do away with Onaris. No, you mean Sereno. Uh, yes, the tramp. Well, that's confusing. Uh. Well, I bet it's not helpful to go and talk to Mr. Merchant over there. Um, pray a shrine, kill the merchant. Bandit camp. Uh, let's go here. Bandit camp. Are you here about our palace? It's not for sale. Palace? What palace? Looks like we've found the robbers. Hello, robbers. Yeah, bandits, it says, bandits. Uh... We don't want to buy anything. We need information. Information is free. Is it? What? Palace. <laughs> what bloody palace? Yes, let You're us continue. Nosy, little runt. Runt, draw your... <sighs> ah, that, that sucked. <laughs> <laughs> But we had to continue with that line of inquiry, right? I mean, that bloody dwarf would have been all about that. Oh, gods. Where are my frames? Give me my frames back. Hello. Zor. 
uh, if I don't like the results of this uh, battle, because I really want to actually talk to them. So I might just reload. But let's fight for now. Um, come here, we will strike. There we go. Nice and easy. And you have your spear out, which is actually fine. We can come here and we can uh, attack. Ha! How about you? Fiend! And then we can come here and hopefully we can finish you off. There we go. And now we can use the wizard to come over here and use a number three fireball on nobody very much because we positioned wrong. Let's just wait then. Ow! Number three fireball? No. And we'll just um, step away in this direction then. Oh gods! That we seriously took a hit there. There. Now you come here, and spears are cool in that way. You can really do some damage without. Uh, without getting close to the enemy and that leaves us a little extra flexibility to plan ahead and stuff now we can use a fireball ha ah, wound you i should have not messed with the dwarf then sir if you didn't want to uh bear the brunt of our charge here uh, there we go up and then we'll move you up here and nothing because that... all right now move up do nothing move up strike and then the dwarf shall strike as well using a powerful blow power blow I keep uh, messing up the name of that for whatever reason, but it's called Parblo. Gladiator Gloves, cool, cool beans, and some arrows. Uh, yeah, but I am... Yeah, now we don't know the stuff. Uh, let's load. Annoying. All right. Uh, let's go back through this stuff and uh, let's not pick the stupid option. Um, well, yeah, because uh, honestly, seriously, <laughs> didn't want to attack that guy, did I? I genuinely would like to find out what's going on. Uh, mind you. Thanks, we. You're Hello. Serena. Yes. Your brother or not? I'm not. What's wrong? You'll be my. Kill you. Why would your? His jet of my. I was. He was back. Now it's. Oh, fine. Can we help? Perhaps. I saw. You take care. We wreck. And I got the book, but it. Now you. You want us to do. Shock, but. Some. No. We will. Please, he will. Anyway. Let's be with you. At the end of this quest, I'm sure somebody will die, and it's not going to be us. Um, so yeah, okay, we did that. Uh, the the thing is, if he, okay, so that's just my devious mind at work there. But did I. Did you give him my regards? Yes. Okay. It's a I suppose uh, I the brother could have possibly could. given the uh, robbers over there a fake contract or something like that. Or he could have given them a fake contract to kill his other brother. So it's all confusing. How did your I was they didn't which my and my Yeah, we want proof. Proof How do we you want but if you want they dwell Reward oh, what? <laughs> So I don't know. Like ultimately Unless we have like a surefire way of figuring this out, we are doing. We're going to end up with an arbitrary decision on my part in the end. We should first. Of course. On the back. On our. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah. 
I mean, if we're going to kill anybody, we'd at least like to get uh, the Are book out of it. Are you palace? Look, what in that? We don't want... Inferm what? Uh... So... Which of these do we pick? So technically, ah, oh, so confusing. So technically, if he is Onaris right now, he would have asked them to kill Serena, right? But if he was Onaris, if the merchant who is now currently rich was previously Onaris and now is Serena, like, is Serino the name of the merchant, regardless of which of the brothers is the merchant? Or... I don't know. Like, because... Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. If he was uh, the... If the merchant, who is now currently being uh, the merchant and running the stall, if he... If he made his brother flee then wouldn't he have, if he's pretending to be his brother for the sake of having this beautiful wife and everything, then wouldn't he also take up a new name? So he would have to be... Uh, he would have to be Onaris initially, and now he's Serino, uh, uh, Serino is his assumed name, so when he placed the order, he would have been Onaris, right? Is that, does that make sense? And uh, the guy who is now Onaris must have been previously Serino, but it doesn't make sense that he is now calling himself uh, calling himself Onaris, Un unless he's just playing a mind game and he told us that to because well, if he told us I am Serino and go to my uh, brother's stall and tell him that Serino says hi. And he'd say, well, my name is Serino, so what the, what the hell? Um, that probably wouldn't have made sense to us, or him, possibly. I'm so confused. <sighs> but I think this one is what Did we're asking. Did a man named Onaris give you the order to kill the merchant Serino? Yes. I see. That's it? Nothing else? No. Okay. So a merchant called Onaris gave. Yeah, I I think I'm right. I think that's correct. Uh, all right. So what bloody what? fucking what? Palace? palace? Da. You're rather nosy, little runt. Runt, draw your weapon, biggin. Oh. Is Biggin a der derogatory term? Is it racist to call uh, humans Biggins by dwarves? I don't know. Possibly. Uh, well, um, we're going to wait for now. We're going to wait. You can come closer and now we can strike. Come here. Uh, hit you. Oh, not so lucky this time. Should actually be concentrating on the other bloke though. Uh, for reason of that he's going to be in initiative before us. So have at thee, blackguard. Okay, he's wounded, that's good. We're going to get shot at. Oh, then we're going to bounce. We're going to move up here. Can we move up there in a way that doesn't actually get us through any... Yes, we can. Okay. Didn't mean to click that. I misclicked, but whatever. Um, yes, and now you're going to come up here and you're going to poke. Do you have any special poking abilities? You have faint. Good to know. We're not going to use faint right now because you've already been attacked, so you can't parry poke um that's right and now I you do that oh another poke then oh. there we go 
And now we move forward down here-ish to try and get at the uh, archer. Because, yeah, we don't have any magic left, so we can't really fire at him. But there we go. And now we shall run. That's right. Alright. Now we get close to the archer. And next turn we attack. He's going to spend a turn uh, swapping weapons as is traditional. There we go. So we're going to stand here. Have him flanked. And have him parry our blow. That's okay. Then we're going to have the elf come here and poke. And finally we're going to have Penthesilea go and have a shot at him as well. And uh, he's got one left. I don't really have anything I could use, so we're just going to have to take... Ah, uh, well. We take nothing. And we finish him off by having the dwarf poke him in the back with an axe. Works out great! Ah, different loot. Last time we had something useful. Uh, now we get nothing useful. Lame. But we can sell all that. Right. So. Let's save. Just in case I change my mind. <laughs> or fumble. Uh... So I am thinking it was he, the current merchant, who needs to get killed. We're not detectives though, so uh, why do we care? We should be going for the money. Ah, whatever. Hello. Um, we have come to pay our respects to the... Uh, backs of your uh, guards with our axes. Oh, I guess I could have maybe... Uh, done something there, but that's fine. Um, we'll swap weapons to a bow. We'll wait till they get closer and then we will strike. And that gives us an advantage. Luckily computer's not figured that out yet and um, I bet he would have on harder difficulty anyway uh, not using our power blow because the chance of hitting is too small and we deal enough damage as it is uh, if we go here well we can only get there that's fine we can go with a power blow here uh, we could actually use our fireball well Maybe. If we moved out of the way a bit, we could, I'm, sh I'm certain. Ah, so dumb. The one place I want to put it, uh, I guess this guy's in the way, so I can't. Whatever, let's let's put it here. Too ah, bad. Not like it matters. All right, let's. Uh, let's let's start work on this other guy then. Let's have our elf lady take a shot at the merchant himself for ten. Nice. Uh, take out this guy in the end and uh, fireball now, maybe. Yeah, let's try it just for the fun of it. Fireball down here. Bush is on fire and... Ah! He went around the bush. Bastard. He figured it out. Going through fire is painful. Okay, another hit at this guy. Only for six, that's unfortunate. But we can finish him off using our arrow. And now this guy is all that's left. And we can try to flank him like so doesn't really help us that much but we'll go for a power blow uh, yeah nothing really to do here with the mage 
Well, let's move up. Can get him completely surrounded. Go for a power blow and finish him off. Sarino's dead. So there we go. Nice, quick, easy battle. Let's go to the tramp and talk My to him. Is dead. If that's true, then may Boron have mercy on us. May he? Like, I didn't get that at all. I thought you'd be slightly happier. Who is Boron anyway? And now we have Onaris. Indeed. So now he changed his name to Onaris. Mm, I honestly don't get this at all. Well, whatever. We killed the guy. Who cares? We are blackguards, after all, as I keep repeating. Ad nauseum. Let's sell all the stuff we don't need. Let's get our elf her arrows. Um, have your arrows. There you go. All of them. Because um, you're going to be using them a lot. And that's about it. Could give us a discount or something. I mean, sheesh. Uh, can you spare? No, I cannot. Where is this forest you speak of? That's the only forest we know about. But I don't think... Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm just... Yeah, we don't have any quests. We don't have anything. Uh, he was going on about some kind of forest. And the rule of RPG is if somebody's rambling maniacally about something and is a beggar and or a drunkard, then it's probably worth investigating because of loot. Oh, hello. You get stopped. Hello, my name is Cerino. Could you say hello to my brother for me? He's na his name is Onaris and he lives in Chaliba. <laughs> no, I suppose not. A road, finally. Bah. Lizards. What's going on there? Dragon worshippers. Ah. Save the Commander. Wow, they are heavily wounded. I got some allies in a fight though from once. Uh, we've got our bow out, that's fine. We could certainly take some pot shots. Who is the commander? Is that the commander? Um, wait. Ralia. Ralia, okay. Guard, guard. Can we like. Hmm, heal this guy? Maybe? We'll see. First we shall approach. And then we shall... Oh. That was a bad idea, actually. Uh, who is this? Who are you? Akaz. Okay, Akaz as well. Uh, it reminds me of something, but I can't figure out why. Um, whatever. Just the name Akaz. Fire! There you go. How about you, Fiend? It's just a spearman, though. No, there's a slinger. Those bloody things are going to be a nuisance, aren't they? Um, let's see. Can we move up here? And can we use our number 7 healing spell on this guy? Nope. Even though he's in range. We could use it on these guys. Uh, no, not yet. We're actually going to move up for now. That guy is javelining about. Fair enough. Um, can we get here and strike him in the back? Yes, we can, but not 
with a very high percentage to hit, so we're not going to use a strong blow, and that's going to be uh, kind of sad to look at. We're going to move... No. Yes. Move you here. Alright, so we got them cornered. And when they're dead, we can concentrate on the guys on the outskirts. Ah! And see them doing that a lot. Uh, he can We can't fire at, really. Oh, uh, here we can't fire at at all. Okay, that guy... These guys are dodgy, aren't they? We're going... well... I mean, yes, but... They also dodge a lot, um, and are hard to hit in general. Now, you should withdraw. You should heal this bugger. Or this bugger. Uh, number two heal. Number eight healing spell. Oh, you can't. I stood you wrong. Blast! Uh, okay. Cure poisons. No, I can't. Uh, that's that's unfortunate. I wanted to provide some aid for these guys, him, him, and him. But it's not going to work out. Not going to work out, is it? Because they're just out of sight. I just stood wrong. Uh, we're going to instead lob a fireball at this guy. There we go. Smallish fireball. Well, that's all we have the energy for right now. There we go, it's that guy's done for. Um, well... You're going to go here and attack that guy. He's pretty much cornered. You are still alive, you are almost dead, so we're going to move you here and we're going to try to take care of you all right yeah he had it ow um let's wow that guy is actually pretty strong now that i look at him whereas he is also pretty strong okay they're all bloody strong Jeez. Um, well. Gonna go for that. He hits for three, which is nothing. Now, what I should do is... Move you up here, here, and here. And that should give us the opportunity to actually heal this guy right now. No. Okay, so we're going to wait. Now stop dying. Now we're going to use our fighter to get in contact with this guy and just pound him. Alright. You. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, probably a bad idea to use those... Uh, Okay, now I can heal you? How about you? Yes, I can heal you. Oh, oh I can't at all. Blast. Probably because they're not technically my allies, are they? Well, they are not attacking me, but they're not my team exactly. Oh, stop that. This is pretty straightforward, at least. Oh, she should learn some healing magic, maybe. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Like so. And might as well hit you. He parries, so he can't parry me now, which is great. Um, I'm going to take a little walk over here, and we're going to hit you for 70% chance and miss. God damn it. Um, let's just do normal blows, because we're not 
hitting with our strong blows. That's oh jeez. Like leave us be, mate. Um, we're going to change our equipment to pokey things. Spear, there we go. And... Oh, can't be helped. Might as well take another parry. Oh, critical hit for 10. Nicely done, sir. Uh, and you go for 70. And that's nice 10 points right off his health bar. And you uh, then, you just continue whittling him down. Can't take many more hits. Ah, nicely done, sir, indeed. Where was that coming from? Ah, never mind. Now we can uh, get you up here. I think that's enough. Have a little pokey fight. Poke. That was a short pokey fight. Hit. And hit. Nicely done, sir. Uh, that was needlessly... A strong blow again. Now this guy's almost done for. Uh, decides to go for the enemy there. We might take her closer. We actually have room for one more. Not that, not that I think we need to move people up, but might as well. Um, how about this, sir? <laughs> sir Lizard? Maybe we shouldn't talk to this woman. Damn it all! May fear and freeze those toad skins and turn them into ice. My men, my horses. Well, wow. who are you anyway? Ralia Caraliere, commander of Morvald. Hello. Pleased to meet you. Nice armor and stuff. Tell us about the lizard people. Are they are they secretly running our governments? Why did the Ahas attack you? Blast if I know. Something must have enraged them and turned them against us. They want to prepare the ground for the Golden Dragon. Yes. I was in my summer residence when news of their attack on Morbel arrived. You have a Morbel summer residence. Is under attack? By an overwhelming force of those scaly abominations. Hey, racist. They're just people with scales, man. Uh, anyways. Right, let's get moving. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> You're an odd crowd. What are you up to? We're certainly not murderers. Um. Hmm. Or we can say we're murderers. But she looks like she doesn't care for that sort of thing. Uh, our business. That's probably the smart answer. Yeah. That's our business. You talk quieter than a thief. Speak up. But. Uh, I mean, I mean, I mean, I don't know. It's our it's business, still though. our business. Right, and now we're leaving. Just a moment. Haven't we met before, dwarf? No. I, I wouldn't know. Human females all look the same to me. Ah, racist. I remember now, the arsonist. Yeah. That was a truly memorable escape. What a feat on such short legs. I knew he was an arsonist. Is that why you're traveling south? You're wanted by the law, right? Maybe. Still, you saved me from the lizards. Fight the vermin for me in Morbal, and I'll let you cross the border. You have my word. Uh, okay. You gave us away, you dwarf you bastard. Stupid arsonist dwarf. Well, whatever. <laughs> She didn't kill us, and, well, we did kill her enemies for her, so whatever. Um, let us uh, save here, because I don't know what's next. And, like, I have this feeling that I should be doing something else. Like, let's, let's just go back there for a bit nothing there isn't anything like I have the feeling that there should be something somewhere 
Hmm. Uh, whatever. Hopefully we can rest in more ball. Because we certainly need a rest. I mean, we haven't really gotten any wounds so far, which is great. We're, we're really doing great on that front. We're not really getting wounded a whole bunch. But we're also now becoming a little overwhelmed by the enemy, so I need to use those APs to good effect. And I'd love to find an inn. It looks like she bloody burned the town, doesn't it? Like she's standing there, two guards in frilly coats. All she needs is a fiddle. And that's maybe another reference that I shouldn't be making because it's obscure. Well, I don't know. Not obscure where I come from, I suppose. Um, alrighty then. Uh, what do we want? Character sheets. When do we want them now? There you are. The scaled ones are preparing their onslaught, and we are seriously short of sword arms. We haven't got any sword arms. Got like two axe arms. Well. Three axe arms and uh, two spear arms and two bow arms and two staff arms. And also one shield arm. How about that? Uh, tell us How about these enemies. Do we have at the gates? I don't know. None of my scouts came back. But blind and deaf. And how many are we? Not enough. My lizard hunters have been decimated. These are not real numbers. Why are the lizards so furious? How would I know? Their interpreters do nothing but hiss. Makes it difficult to negotiate. Hmm. Who's the leader of the lizards? A shaman or a crystal mage? A priest? Something like that. I see. <laughs> we will lop off the snake's head. That will scare them stiff. The lizard men have to be led by white officers, obviously. Or human officers. Otherwise, they'd be completely useless in a fight, right? Anyways, uh, what should what we do? Orders? You look shabby. Go see Marmot, my armorer, and have him fit you out. Then come back to me and do what I tell you. Ooh. Just oh, bought armor. Core. Uh, righty ho. And we got 90 gold pieces for free. Uh, but we probably do have to get armored up properly. Not that our current armor is too bad. Merchant armor. Market square. No inn, though. I really need an inn to rest up. My, my. If it isn't our arsonist. Uh, is it? I regret nothing. Yeah. The scaly <coughs> lizards serve good beer. I regret nothing. <laughs> okay, that's a good one. Um... Do you often have problems with the Achaz? Achaz, Ming Billings, Novadis. It's not the first battle for this stronghold, and it won't be the last. But we've never seen such a large horde of lizard folk. Well. Why did you call him an arsonist? Because he committed <laughs> he arson. He set the scaly lizard on fire. Our best haven. He was going to be whipped and branded for it, but he managed to flee. Such disturbing revelations. You disappoint me, Norin. Indeed. And Angrishaw will not be branded. Yeah, but... The name but... of the tavern was an insult to the Angrishim. But it was a tavern. We need to equip ourselves for the fight. Damn hmm. right. Take what you need, but no more than that. Well, if we can take what we need, why do we need this gold? Uh... Anyway. Um... Armor. Okay, there we go. Ooh, brigantines. We can afford one brigantine armor set. It's probably good. It's probably decent. Um, yeah, one brigantine armor set. And nothing else. Uh, 40, 35. Actually, we barely afford one if we sell our current equipment. Um, wow. That's interesting. What what is the advantage of having that? 30, 20, 20, 10. Actually, that's pretty good for armor. That's pretty good for armor. 
We'll see what we can afford though. We can certainly sell all of this stuff. We can sell all of this stuff. Well, a lot of this stuff as well. Like the major book of abjurations, but hmm. I don't know. That's all. Let's see now. We've got her. She's doing fine that code though. We've got him. He could use better armor. Um, I don't know. Like, hmm. Because we got pretty good armor ourselves. Slashing damage, piercing damage, pretty good. Not great though, but yeah, certainly, certainly pretty good all around. Uh, we're good. Would look good on dwarf though. Um, him, he has mismatched armor all around, but could even this. I remember, I'm pretty sure there's some kind of rating for having it in sets, like some kind of advantage for having a full set of armor. So maybe, or give her the leather armor, then give him her armor, then give him my armor, then give me the new armor. Hand-me-downs all round. Can we afford it? Maybe. Um, maybe. Probably. Yeah, we, we're going to have to sell some stuff though. Certainly will. But five... Why did I buy this stuff? Jeez. For like two battles. Uh, yeah, but certainly can sell that. And she's got pretty much the same thing. Yeah, let's do it. I'll actually do it off screen and then I'll be back when I'm done equipping. See you then.